Hello, welcome back. Today we're gonna test out the wet electrostatic filter for gas. It's uh, based on this design here from ResearchGate. And the first one I replicated, it's the other one, this one. It's a dry one, but in the PDF they mentioned that it couldn't do underneath 100 degrees Celsius. So everything will, will come up within uh, five hours and it's done. So I decided to build this. This doesn't have an, a steel pipe. It has a secondary, uh, sorry, a laminar flow secondary electrode. You can see it's just the sanded pipe inside. The PDF suggested it, it should be sanded, and I see why because the, the laminar flow uh, establishes itself much more precise with lower flow of water. In, in this bucket here, the water comes in and flows down. This is the electrostatic power. Power supply, uh, 500 to 10,000 volts adjustable, and the water will flow inside here. Uh, let's see. And the excess water will come out here and flow into the pocket, which is uh, filled up to a hill. Then the pump is. We're pulling it through a filter, so the particulates uh, getting out, and there's a one-way valve, so there's no back drainage, so easy startup, and then it's getting pumped into the upper chamber where the laminar flow stems. For the upper part, we have about the same construction as the down part. This will fit inside here, and with the gas outlet here. As for the gas inlet here, so it travels upward, and the particulates will be be thrown to the, to the side by the electrostatic field and be washed away by the water. This, however, is the primary electrode, the negative electrode. It's built from stainless steel thread with pointed washers. Every six. No, every five and a half centimeter, I believe. With some rings for uh, isolation and, and kit and stuff, which is really necessary, I can tell you. Otherwise, the efficiency will drop quite quickly. I show you here that I did it with this once. And this worked already pretty good, but due to this, uh, the the high humidity or the small water droplets accumulating all over the place, the electricity went somewhere else and shorted itself out after a few hours. So with this one, I estimate it doesn't do that so severe because it's better isolated. And it has a liquid secondary electrode to wash away all the droplets. It doesn't accumulate anymore all over the place. Because if, if the efficiency, if it clocks up here and there, and it will just go up, up to some point where there is, uh, where the, the resistance over the whole surface area is so high that it doesn't do its job anymore. So let's put it together and check out the laminar flow. Hello, welcome back. I throw everything together. Power supply, voltage regulator, battery, and here is the, let's see if I can get this, wait a second, a moment. Yeah, we're back. Now I can shine inside. 
you can see the water in the bottom and some droplets falling in you can pretty see uh, the sanding inside the paper I just made this little uh, cuts inside the thing so it can even start up now with less water now the buck converter is now tuned to 6 volt which is about the minimum voltage for the pump to start up and now as it proceeds that's At least it did five seconds ago. Probably a little bit more because also there's also a one-way valve, which has some pressure loss. Seven volts. Okay, there you go. Now you can see the laminar flow going all around here. Um. Another light bulb. Wait a second. Yeah, here you go. I have another light. Maybe that helps a bit. From here, you can see that the flow is all around. So that makes a great secondary electrode. Now, up to the next. Hello, welcome back. Everything's hooked up now and the filter is working perfectly. Although there's a little spark coming out so once in a while because this is an old thing. You see, when I tap it, there is some carbon uh, a dust stuff which come out sometimes. But it's, it looks nice. It looks really clean now. Let's check out if we disconnect the electrostatic transformer. Now it's loose. And you can see instantly, you see the vapors coming back. Oh jeez. We don't like that stuff in our machines. So. And clear it is. Funny is that you can see some of those when I tap this pipe you see some sprinkles okay let's put this thing to 24 volts now this uh, ventilator now we can see the difference better in an uh, unfiltered and filter gas. I could now totally eliminate the the grass barrel. Let's say it's over here. This was first filled with dry grass, and over time, it's getting black, and it stinks. And it's getting wet and it needs a lot of maintenance it needs to be done every eight hours of work you need to dry the stuff out but now I assume because of this water secondary electrode that we can eliminate all the all the grass maintenance stuff so we can just uh, clean this filter once in every, I don't know yet, let's say 50 hours or something. We can drain condensate here. We can drain condensate down here in the regenerative heat exchanger. Hmm, you see that? There's something coming out of it now. This is the regenerative heat exchanger with uh, warms the incoming air from the fan to the outcoming air of the cyclone but it's 
uh, I would say 80 degrees now, so it's not too severe. But still, I'm really happy with this, this stuff. Although I'm not so happy with the nut cleaning, because if you do tap it once, it's it's gonna do bad stuff. Next thing would be, of course, to set this thing perfectly uh, vertical, so we can have a, a more perfectly clean gas. If I hold it now to the side. It's not cleaning optimally anymore. So, thanks for watching. Yeah, engine test is coming soon. Oh yeah, electrostatic filter works. Great, let's put out the lights. Awesome. Oh yeah. Hey, there's a little bit. I think I need more voltage. This is only a tank kilovolt power supply, maximum. If the flow increases. Uh, uh, from a certain point, the, the static charge is not strong enough to repel it to the secondary electrode. We have quite some more resistance now too, because it's going through the water now. Although, pretty happy with the result. If you lower the flow, Make all the difference. Higher voltage. <laughs>